What is up gaming gators? It is Gatorade here and I'm back with another Sims 4 video. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. I've just had to find the right thing I wanted to build. I found a house that I think would look pretty cool in anybody's sim world. So let's go ahead and get to building it. We're going to want to start out by having something drawn up like this. It's got a big... I chose this lot where that modern house is in Willow. Some Willow Creek or something. So we're going to start on the side where we actually want there to be something. that like that. I want to do this. So this looks complicated at the moment. But trust me. When I say this house is going to look great in the end. That's pretty much what you want. Then you want to create two separate rooms. You want this. And you're going to want this one. So now you have defined rooms. That's a good thing. You want to, from there, you want a flat square. You just want to add it on. So we're going to make the porch and then we're going to move it right onto the house. There we go. I'm going to go to foundations. You want to raise that up a little bit. So that's the first step. Now you want to go up a layer. And from looking at the pictures, it looks pretty much like this, so you're actually going to want to just take this, copy, bam, and then two new rooms over here. Do this like that. Then this can go in. We'll just shrink this down one. And we'll shrink this back. This is the basics, front of the house. From here you want to get your columns out. Not to mention I also realized they just added the laundry day stuff to the game. Kinda excited to get that. Hmm, okay, I can't do that. That's fun. 
It's been a while since I've played this, so I forgot what goes with what. Just do that. So from here you want to add basically how the front of this house is going to look. It's more of a grand looking house. So you want... Oh, put the stairs in the wrong place. build some windows above that. And if you have half tile grid snapping on, my favorite place to place these is around that screw right there. And then you want to come back to these. This is definitely used on this house. We'll say about there. get some regular windows like this one and you want to place them here boy I hate the camera angles they're so annoying sometimes Okay, so now I want to get to the roof building. So if I remember how to do this correctly... Oh yeah, you click that yellow piece, you can build the ceiling in any room. It's quite useful. Actually, we'll keep that. Place this right about here. Want some roof trim. You might want to do something like I think I've used this before. It looks really nice. So this is basically how it starts to look. And you want to do regular roof here. that and you want to do 
down here. So we have the front coming in pretty nicely if you ask me. You also want to add a roof here. But it has to be like really low angle. The camera would stop moving while I'm trying to get this. Be nice. There. Now the only thing is, once you try to raise it, it's going to probably destroy the window or just make it look really weird. So you might have to raise this a bit. So that'll be fine because it looks good still. So there's that. Now you want to pull these out. This is just an estimate, so this isn't correct, but that's just about where you want it. Probably give or take some here or there. Now the picture that I have for this house shows it in like a tannish brown color so let's go ahead and get a has something like this along here And it has it along here. So, and then the rest of the house is like this color. doesn't do those, I don't know. But as long as we have this down, it'll show something at least. Now you want to get out this and get this started. There's a different like pattern in the eaves of the roof, so it's more like mm, don't know what I'm looking for. It's like a vertical. Which 
just leave it like that for now. And the rest of the house, surprisingly, has roofs that are like this. So they're hipped all the way around. So we're gonna get that into here, and if I have to, I'll drop it down two clicks. That means this can come down two clicks as well. Okay, so we might have to actually pull this out one more. Or two more. Just so we can get like a good grip on how this might actually work. There we go. There should be an issue now with this. There we go. So then from there, you have like a, it changes shape as it goes up the house. So instead of it being done a certain way, like we thought it would be, That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's twelve. That would work for a room. This would come down here. So there's how the house would basically look. And then if you want some more flair to it, for the front of the house, I would choose a different set of windows, basically. I know there was one in here that had more design to it. Either way. So this is like a bonus room space up here. And then everything else would be like a um, regular like house, whereas that would be bonus room space. You could have unfinished or finished. Here it was. This is what I was looking for. That doesn't look right. Here we go. Let's try this. Gives you big room, or big windows on this part of the house. Yeah, there we go. I'm liking how that's looking. 
so from here you want to do some... You're going to want something coming off the house. For like a walkway. Some flagstone might look nice. And then as far as the foundation goes... I would do some grey brick, just to kind of... That's a little dark. I mean, black brick. It's the only one that has the grey brick in it, but it has to have that stupid diamond thing on it. I don't mind this, it just don't look right. Guess we'll have to go with this. So they add in like more brick colors. So there's a covered porch on the back of this house and a little breakfast nook. So you do like you'd probably do something like this for this house in particular. top of that. Then you have a set of stairs that get placed in right there. So your columns over. build some more roofing. So for this, you're probably going to want to move it forward.
so let's try this. Let's try this. Just lower it all the way down. Push it forward all the way. So that would look nice, but it wouldn't work like I would need it to. So you'd probably actually want to do something more like this. Finish it off here with one like this. And there would be the back of the house. We want to change the roof pattern though. If you want a really dark roof, you can go with this one right here. It covers up pretty much anything. And then you can add in that roof trim that I showed you earlier. Looks really good on all roofs, so you can just use that to your advantage. Copy the siding around the back to the front of the house. from here you might want to do like if you want it to look like a porch you could do this come over here and grab this one so that it at least looks like a porch um I'm gonna leave the video here thank y'all for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next video goodbye also you can follow me on Tumblr where I post videos or I'll talk about when I'm going to post a video. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and yeah, this has been a Sims video.